Okay, we have a Simons Voss mortise cylinder here, and I activate it with a key fob, and you can see it turns and swings the bolt. Okay, so operating currently, once it times out, it's a locked cylinder. So in order to open the cap, I use the Simons Voss tool. I slip it underneath the cap here and get it into the holes behind the cap. I keep it secure up against the back of the cap and I turn the cap to the left. It will turn about a quarter of an inch. So you'll click right there. You saw about a quarter turn there. I heard a click and now the cap is unlocked. I push the collar. You can see the collar here. It is going to push down barely an eighth of an inch. You'll just see a little gap there. So you see that black right there? That's the gap created. Now I can turn the cap of the cylinder to the left to unlock it completely and be able to slide it off. That also turned just barely a quarter of an inch. Now I have access to the batteries. I can remove old batteries, replace them with new batteries. When I place the new batteries in, I should hear three beeps, and I know I've got an acknowledgement that the batteries are incorrectly. The batteries uh, tops face towards each other when you put them back in, just like you'll see when you remove them. So I align the little triangular tab. There's a triangular tab. It lines up with the arrows on the cap. You can see on the on the cylinder itself, there's little triangular arrows that lines up with the triangular tab push it down once I have it pushed down I turn the cap back to the right to lock it in place and now I slide the collar back up and now it's back in place I take my tool I now get into holes and I click to the right and I'll feel a little click right there you saw it move about a quarter of an inch and now it's locked you can see here I've got a locked cap and we're good to go.